Hi everybody. It's Friday night and pretty much I'm bored out of my mind. But oh, I can't believe I did that. Um I waited as long as I could for this other set to come in. Now, if any of you know, no, I did Blood Rage uh recently. <clears throat> and um today on the Dice Tower um, I never said who I did him for because I didn't think he really wanted to I didn't want to make it look like I was being a glory hound so um, if you noticed the painted figures that you saw for Blood Rage were the ones that I was working on and I was so frustrated over <clears throat> I was actually painting those for Tom Vassal um, I wasn't happy with him and you know I wanted him to have the best but uh, they seem to be happy with them so even though I wasn't satisfied that's okay as long as the customer is happy and uh, no he didn't pay for him I did him pretty much out of the goodness of my heart right here we have Tom Vassal's battle lore and uh, I'm just kind of figuring out what to do here uh, <clears throat> I like to plan everything in advance and the reason I can paint pretty decently is I break everything up into groups and then I kinda just do that thing where you just kinda machine through them uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking a look at these guys and seeing what we have the most of. You know, of course we have the most of the little guys, but these big guys will be pretty quick. Now the theme, I like to have a theme for everything, so what I'm gonna do is at the same time, and I hope you can hear me, that I paint his, and here's the other bag, um, I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, I'll show you later. Um, Father's Day, I got like the coolest thing. I figure I share it with you guys. This is Happy Fa Father's Day, Grandpa. Whoops. And the little buggers dressed up as Thor. Pretty cool, huh? My little huddy. I'm going up to see him in a couple weeks. And uh, well, I guys got you guys here. Hopefully, you're well for maybe the 10 or 15 people that watch this. Um, I'm gonna go up for about three or four days, so I'd like to have these done by then. <clears throat> and uh, also, when I get back, it's Huracan time. So I will be doing full coverage of Huracan. All right, so here's my copy of Battle Lore. I haven't even opened it up yet, so we'll open it up now. And uh, let's take a look at some of the colors that we're gonna be using on this. And I thought this would be a kind of a cool thing because I get a lot of questions, why, you know, how do I paint so fast? Well, first of all, just don't be good at it. <laughs> yes, Lily, I know. I stink at it. Uh, the third thing... Oh, wow. There is a lot of stuff in here. Ah, here we go. I think this is what I'm looking for. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What I'm actually looking for is some kind of color code thing that they can show me. Okay, there's those dudes. And you know, you just like, alright, see? Like that guy right there. That gives me an idea of what to do with these guys. What will go with the deep red and then the bone finish. Okay. That makes sense. 
Now, I think these guys should have card. I mean, each unit should have some kind of card in here. I haven't played the game. I have the original game. And, um... I bought this, and... I've been... I've been beating myself up to get going on it. Uh, I kind of, like, been doing everything but... Alright, let's take a look. Thanks for bearing with me. Ah, here we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. So, let me pull these out. Uh, yep, there's those. Rock Warriors. Oh, okay. Control that. That's that. Okay, cool. So, now that we pulled these cards out. Oh, there's even more guys here. But, uh, Huracan's coming. Huracan is a great, great, um, convention. I really, really enjoy Huracan. Um, it's a small miniatures, uh, convention, but let's put those there in case we need them. But it's very fun. Um, they have a little board gaming. It's not a huge con, I'd say maybe 200, 300 people. But there are some fantastic, fantastic, um, what you'll see is you'll see some great, um, battle scenes, uh, Civil War, uh, science fiction, Star Wars, sea battles. There's a Sea Craig game, for those of you that understand. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to pause this video for a minute. And uh, maybe not. You know what, if you don't mind, I'll just talk right through it. So, so we got a good, boy, these guys are kind of tough to get out. There we go. Yeah, Lil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, and they're kind of small, so... That's going to tell a lot. Alright, there's a big guy there. A little guy there. Alright, let's take a look and see if we can find these guys. Okay, these are the good guys. These are the bad guys. Alright, very pale, red, red hair, piece of cake with that. You know, I could probably drill these in less than a week. Oh, be quiet, young lady. Red bows. Brown. Okay. All right. That's got to be the Flesh Ripper Brutes. Oh, it's not helping me unless I show you guys. There's a the Flesh Ripper boot, uh, Brutes. That's these guys right here. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. I don't want to lose all the guys there. Uh, just keep it out, and I'll pick it up, and I'll show it to you. Uh, that's a shame that these guys look like this, because I actually... Uh, no, that's okay. Here's these guys. So that's these guys. So they're pretty much just flesh with hairy backs and bones. Well, we can do that. I think I'll leave the bases red, because I think that plays into this somehow. Um, I, the only thing I don't like, oh, wow, she looks kind of cool, so let's see how many of her there is. Oh, we got all the guys with the arrows. So, there's this guy, this guy. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, the Chaos Lord. You see, I wouldn't make him pale like that. I'd actually do kind of like, I was almost thinking of doing him like red, eh, but he's all boned up. Alright, maybe we'll go, nah, you know, maybe, uh, I don't want to get too fancy, maybe I'll talk to Tom about that. Alright, so that explains that. And then, I haven't even put these guys out. But now I got an idea that it's the blue and the white horses and and the armor. 
So that'll be pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of this set up, then I'm going to get these primed, and then we'll start painting them. So we'll get this all set for Mr. Vassal and get it out to him. I think he want from what I heard on the video today. Oh, Lily, dear God. Uh, it's look. He's. I guess he's got the giant and the dragon. So he's looking forward to getting these back pretty quickly. So I'd like to get these going and do a real good job for him. Uh, these are going to be a lot easier than the Blood Rage, and I'll tell you why. I really had nothing to go on. But these, at least I've got a ton of stuff I can work off of. And it's pretty basic stuff. So when I get, start doing flesh, I can do flesh on all of them first. And then detail, which is kind of cool, because if that's what we're going to do... This guy is the only guy I'm kind of thinking about. And I'd love to see your comments about it. I mean, wouldn't he be cooler if he was like a red demonish type of guy? You know, kind of like a corn berserker kind of thing. And this guy, well, we'll find out. I haven't seen a card with him. So I'll figure that one out. Um, all right, so I'm going to get the, the, the good guys laid out so you can see... Uh, there's probably about 200 figures here. Yeah. I'll crank those out. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these, are, these archers are easy. Because they're mostly skins and it's not a ton of over-the-top detailing. Um, these guys here which are the soldiers, let's take a look, which are kind of bony and stuff like that. They're not going to be too hard. So I don't think that this is going to be a horribly tough build. If it's done right, like I do, and I, I have a game plan at it, and that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm just kind of getting this all sorted out. So I have a game plan, and I should be able to just pound these out. What I'm going to do is, I don't even think I'm going to take the good guys out yet. I think if I do these guys in a couple days, and that means just solely concentrate on these, instead of doing what I normally would do, uh, is take everything out and just pound a little of it at a time. I think if I just go... Um, because these guys are so small, if I go and do the enemies first, see that's the only thing I don't like is when they give you, everything's all bent up, and that's the thing that they don't use a great plastic on it, but you know, these are for a board game, it's not so much a miniatures game, uh, let's see here, alright, there, there, there. There's not a lot of variance in poses, so this should go quite simple, if you ask me. And uh, I'm a little more uh, energized over this than I was with the Blood Rage. I mean, the Blood Rage was nice, but I think once I get my box set and I'm able to see what you know some of the pictures inside the boxes and um, you know get a feel for how it looks on the board and I, I think I got you know seeing it play today I actually kind of got a better scope of things so I was kinda I was kinda thrilled with that oh okay this guy was actually on here so I'll have to glue him back on here for you Tom um, but <clears throat> I think that's that's the way we're going to go. So, just looking at this right now, I think I'm going to mow through this pretty quickly. Um, the only guy I may change from the pictures is that guy, but we'll figure that out. We have that guy, the archer. That's a good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Good guy. 
good guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. There's no picture of the beetle. Hmm. Well, I'll look in the I'll look in the thing. So these guys are gonna go over here, and uh, there you go. So uh, that's the plan. That's battle lore. These are the bad guys, and we'll get to work on it. All right, and that's about it for this video. I'll talk to you later.